I'm Jeff Hans, and on this week's episode, we find out why this guy's taking a piss on a KFC. I'm Dave Burrows, and finally, free bacon and puppies will make sense to you. Welcome to Free Bap News, guys. Let's go. Snapchat is a mobile app that allows users to send pictures and videos to each other for a quick view and then supposedly deletes the files immediately, never to be seen again. The app has become a popular way to send naughty pictures and videos without the regret of them ending up on the internet. Well, it's now likely that your sexy selfies will end up on the web. Though the systems are different on Android and iOS, phones do save the Snapchat files to the system's memory. It's just a matter of finding it and knowing what to do with it once you have it. <laughs> on Android, the files are saved to a no media file extension, which when deleted can be viewed as a normal media file. However, on iOS, if you can find the correct application folder, you can view the files without any modification. Let's just pray that your mom isn't tech savvy enough to use Snapchat. And suddenly college girls everywhere have a feeling of overwhelming regret as if they didn't have it already. And just like herpes, it only takes 10 seconds to last a lifetime. You're a fugitive on the run. It's been 13 years since you've seen home. You've taken every precaution to hide from the law, but you have to pee. You go to the one place you know will be safe, a KFC in Colorado, but you can't make it inside. You decide the wall outside is the perfect place to drain the lizard, but someone was watching. Dun, dun, dun. Miguel Sanchez was on the run for 13 years on attempted murder charges in Los Angeles. He was brought to justice after being caught urinating on the wall of a KFC in Colorado. Initially, Miguel gave a fake name to authorities, but when officers ran his fingerprints, they were able to determine his true identity, as well as the fact that he had a $2 million warrant out for his arrest in California. When you've gotta go, you've gotta go. Felon or not, you can't resist when nature calls. Just make sure you're in an actual bathroom. KFC may be just a fast food restaurant, but they take urine on the side of their buildings very seriously. Save that shit for McDonald's. If I told you a 13 year old boy was arrested for stealing Pop Tarts, you'd be okay with that. It's good that we're teaching our youth that you can't take things that don't belong to you. But what if I told you that the person that called the police was his own mother? Mom of the Year, Latasha Renee Love of Charlotte, North Carolina, called the police after her son took Pop-Tarts from their home without her permission. Apparently she has had previous disciplinary issues with her son, though a neighbor described him as nice and respectful. You might think this is a bit extreme, but have you ever had those cookie dough Pop-Tarts? Mmm. See what you mean. Honestly, if it were anyone other than his mother, he probably would have been shot. Good thing his mother is compassionate and simply sent him to jail. A mother's love knows no bounds. Are you having a bad day at work? Maybe just a little stressed out? But at least you weren't swallowed by a 40 foot sinkhole. In East Rutherford, New Jersey, a 40 by 40 foot sinkhole opened up under a man on a forklift in a warehouse. The forklift operator, Danny Rodriguez, took an unexpected plunge into the depths of the New Jersey underground. Luckily, the forklift itself limited Danny's injuries. I'm not saying New Jersey is the gateway to hell, but judging by the residents and the way the earth keeps opening up gigantic holes in city streets, I wouldn't be surprised if Satan himself rises from the depths only to realize what a terrible decision that was and descend directly back into Hades. It's only a matter of time. Every once in a while, man, the story just comes in. And it's the perfect story. It's so perfect. I'm just, I'm just so proud. So proud. Oh, God. I'm not saying bacon solves all problems, but it does. A wayward pup named Misty was adopted by a couple in Morris County, New Jersey, after being found in the streets of Brooklyn with multiple injuries. This wasn't the end of the pit bull's journey. Because soon after, the canine disappeared from its foster family home. The couple contacted the Second Chance Rescue in New York to help search the woods for the lost nine-month-old puppy. They even offered up a $2,000 reward for the pup's safe return. After searching for the weekend, the couple got an unlikely tip. It was suggested that they cook bacon in their backyard to lure the puppy back. The irresistible aroma of bacon prompted Misty's return. <laughs> Vegans be damned, bacon saves the day. 
Thanks for watching this week's episode. Be sure to like the video and leave a comment about any of the stories you saw today. If you're as surprised as we are about having a story with bacon and puppies in it, make sure to subscribe. Be sure to share the video and come back next week for another episode of Freebap News. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.